With the metabolic test, what we're measuring is your resting metabolic rate. And so what that is, is basically how many calories you would burn in a day at rest. So it's kind of like what it takes, the energy that it takes to keep your body running. If you were just to sit at home all day on the couch or be sleeping all day long, and it gives a dietitian a baseline of how many calories you burn. And then if you do exercise or work or anything like that on top of that, that adds on, adds on top of that. Awesome. Yeah. Why should I care? You should care because um, you should care because this gives kind of a peek into your body and how it's working. It really gives you a snapshot of if your body's burning energy efficiently. So another great thing about this test is that it not only tells you how many calories you're burning, but it also tells you where those calories are coming from. So whether you're burning fat or carbohydrates. And so that tells us whether your body is running really efficiently or maybe it's a little bit off. It also tells us if your metabolism is kind of in the range that we like to see it in. Um, and if not, how we can kind of improve that because nothing with this test is set in stone. You can always change your metabolism, make it run a little bit better. You can change where the substrates are coming from, where you're burning energy from, so fat or carbohydrate as well. And it's just an indication of, you know, the inside, like how your body is running, what it's made of. Um, and it just gives you a little bit more of a scientific grounding instead of just guessing. Cool. So what do we got here with Corey? All right. So Corey <laughs> is our patient here. And what we have set up is just the what you would be wearing for this exam. So you have a nice face mask, mask that we get fitted for you. It's airtight. And we hook you up to the machine here with this tube. You have a little bit of leniency to kind of lean back, pop your feet up, relax. This is a really, really relaxing exam. So <laughs> compared to the VO2 max, which we do on a treadmill and on the bike, which is a lot of exercise and really intense, this one you just basically sit in the room with the lights off <laughs> for a half an hour. And the best thing that can possibly happen is that you fall asleep. And that would be a really good indicator of what your resting metabolic rate is. So it's sort of to simulate what sleep would be like and what your body would be doing at rest. So no phones, no notifications, no music, no, no nothing, just you, your thoughts. Um, and it's a nice time. Some people kind of experience it kind of like a spa, like it's you, you time for a half an hour. And yeah, so you just sit and you breathe into the machine and that's it. I come back in, pop the lights on and, and Bob's your uncle. That's, that's all you got to do. What do I get from it? Like what kind of, uh, do you give me like a... Yeah, that's a good question. So at the end, at the end of the exam, I'll uh, print out two copies of your results. So we get the results immediately, which is really nice. You don't have to do any waiting. I'll also send, if you're working with a dietitian, I'll send those results to the dietitian. But yeah, it'll kind of break down everything into how many calories you would burn the the machine kind of do, does a whole equation and everything like that and takes from that half an hour, kind of extrapolates how that would look like in a day. And it'll give us the your resting metabolic rate. So again, how many calories you would burn in a day at rest. And it also gives us where those calories are coming from. So fat or carbohydrate. Um, protein's also in there too, but most people aren't burning protein unless they're on a keto diet. So Cool. Yeah. What other types of physiology assessments do you have? We have a lot of different kinds of physiology assessments. So we have the VO2 max, which is a much more intense uh, examination, which is done on the treadmill or the bike. It's kind of your choice, depending on what your format of exercise you prefer. We also do, um, we do blood lactate tests, which is where we, you're not hooked up to the machine like this. You get um, sort of just a little prick in your finger and we can tell from that uh, what your blood lactate is, which is important in terms of your training zones. And same with the VO2, that tells us your training zones as well. Um, what else do we do here? We do glycogen tests, which is just, uh, again, a pretty simple test that you just kind of sit down and relax as well. Um, I think that's it. Do we have anything else? Oh yeah, we do. We also do, <laughs> we also do body composition, which is a uh, skin fold. So some dietitians also in conjunction with this test would really like to know your body composition. And so with that, we do a standardized protocol for skin folds, which tells us your uh, lean mass versus fat mass of your body. So that also gives you a little bit of a different insight into your, into what's going on in your body and what you're made of. And you can use that exam to also track over time and see how the improvements are coming along.